Ward in Baritania, Occupy Honolulu. Got a call about uh, 15 minutes ago from uh, Nova that uh, police and uh, government crews were here. So that was about uh, 15 minutes ago, and indeed they're here. I'm going to get up a little closer and see uh, what the deal is. It's around 9 a.m. in Honolulu. It is a uh, free speech zone. Let's ask Nova what the deal is. Hey, Nova, tell me what uh, what's uh, going on. I'm going to back off a little bit so I can get you on camera. Church decided to run up again up on one of our uh, people and slap her in the back with a tag on her own back and the police are refusing to file assault charges. She no had a, about it. We had no battery to... It, no. Was, a, it was a tag on, on, the, on a, something she was carrying? No, they tagged her. They tagged her herself <laughs> with the Bill 54 tag. Yeah, with a property that they said that was there that she was carrying away. And so she ran up out of anger and smacked her in the back with it and the PD's refusing to do anything. The, uh... That's that's interesting. We don't have footage of that. I wasn't here yet. No. And that uh, by Trish, you mean Trish Morikawa of the uh, yeah. who was here the other day. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're taking pictures of people saying that they're giving a verbal warning. Sorry, you can't give a verbal warning on something that's not there or being claimed. So how do you know who owns what? So, I mean, that's just BS. And I understand but, uh, Bill 54 requires uh, written uh, written notice. Right. The yeah. actual tagging of the actual property. Right. I'm going to... tag property. has on to do with people. Can you get a picture of this? Was there? I just want to make a record of it. Walk around with it. Has it been tagged? This property has not been tagged because... Um, Part of the um, part of the uh, procedure nowadays, I think, is to not leave property on for a continuous 24 hours, as is uh, required. I'm going to take a little walk around here. Here's a sign that was just made uh, yesterday. This is the area where the original encampment was before December 30th and is uh, now a public forum. Here are crews and this is similar to crews that were here. Uh, you guys were here the other day at the, uh, on the second. Let me, let me get this. This is the uh, third uh, composting uh, barrel uh, Occupy Honolulu's had. Unfortunately, composting barrels uh, have to stay more than uh, 23 hours. Most of the stuff here is rotated out on a less than 24 hour period in order to I'm going to catch up on that uh, conversation later. Here are uh, Bill 54 tags that just went on. This, this furniture has um, been gleaned from the roadside and was being put to use as... Uh, okay, I'm losing something here. Here we go. Rainy here. Let's see how this banner looks. Here's the uh, Occupy banner. This doesn't look like it's been tagged. As I was saying, all this stuff has uh, rotated out. Here are tags. Uh,
some oranges here for the public. I brought some of those actually yesterday. GMOs represent uh, a lot of what uh, Occupy is protesting. You can see the Bill 54 tags. I notice uh, 8.58, 8.58 a.m. So that is around the time that uh, stuff is, that the police came. 8.57, very close to 9 a.m., which is just 12, 13, 14 minutes ago. A lot of people wonder why this stuff is at the roadside. It's at the roadside because that's the only area protected under the Kanavai Mamalahoy law of the splintered paddle, but apparently not protected, not really protected, um, according to the city's interpretation of the... Uh, of the statute. It's raining pretty hard, so you see people, including me, taking uh, shelter under the tree. That's Thomas Square in the background. And again, if you're following me, following along, one of the uh, subjects of contention has been what is park and what is sidewalk. Kanavai Mamalahoy allows people to lay by the side, uh, side of the road, um, which would be this sidewalk. Raining like crazy. It's actually very uh, picturesque. We can see a camera crew and uh, hopefully you can see members of... Uh, Occupy. So this would be uh, raid number what? Six. This is the sixth raid of Occupy Honolulu. This just has to break it down. <laughs> well, that will be coming tomorrow, I guess. So this is just the tagging. Right, this is the tagging, and they have to. Uh, show that property has been stored continuously for 24 hours before seizing it. This is a bill recently passed. It's, we call it a Bill 54 tag. The actual tags, uh, I mean the actual ordinance is now 11-29 of the revised ordinances of uh, Honolulu. And there's the first insurance building in the background. That's kind of our graphic locator of, of where we are. People have kind of vague. There's Dog. The uh, police came and tagged stuff, hoping to... Uh, and, and there's the city crews in the orange, or state. One of the... Uh, during the December 7th hearing, uh, one of the questions was, how much was this going to cost the city? And the city insist insisted it would not cost anything extra to um, implement because they were not going to use policemen to enforce it because it was uh, something that could be carried out by regular personnel. Uh, but so far they've used uh, out of regular hours uh, large groups of uh, city and state workers and of course police at least six times here. If you're just tuning in, this is... Uh, I'm, I'm uh, live streaming from under tree at Occupy Honolulu. Where 
where the police and state and city crews have just come and made a Bill 54 raid. They put tags on everything. Uh, in order to be able to seize the property tomorrow morning, uh, no earlier than tomorrow morning. They have to show continuous storage of the property for 24 hours. Uh, most of this stuff gets rotated out. in a less than 24 hour um, cycle so that it's not actually stored here it's a lot of effort but it's because this isn't a homeless camp uh, I'm gonna have to stop streaming soon uh, the camera's just getting too wet Thanks for joining us. Um, I'll stay tuned and I'll update as we go along. Mahalo.